Welcome back, Hayes. Hi, it's been the first month and it's already been eventful. In this first month of the new school year, we have many new teachers and classrooms into the addition of the school year. Evan Cox can tell you more. Hello, I'm Evan Cox reporting for Dry Broadcasting. Here at Hayes High, there are 45 new classes and teachers. Late last year, Hayes High decided to integrate some new courses into the curriculum, sending out surveys to students to determine what classes would be added. Among the new classes, Astronomy and Comp 2 are now available to Hayes High students. Additionally, teachers such as Mr. Braden Smith, who teaches orchestra, and Mr. Jake Deckett, who teaches tribe broadcasting, joined the HHS family. Where are you from and what brought you to Hayes? Yeah, I'm originally from Independence, Kansas. That's where I was born and raised. And I was at K-State for the last four years, getting my undergrad in music education. And the orchestra program and the community is what brought me to Hayes, Kansas. Could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, um, I love music, playing in gigs all over the area and in Kansas, and I also enjoy getting outdoors, doing stuff like that, and participating in community events. What is your favorite part about Hayes High? Yeah, so far I've enjoyed getting involved with the community of the students. Um, seems super close and lots of cool things happening here. So getting involved with the community has been great. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jennifer Olt and I teach epidemiology here at Hayes High. Um, I think students should take the class because as we know in 2020, the world went through a pandemic and there's nothing more applicable than studying about things that impact our lives. And the study of diseases is something that's not ever going to go away. I mean, we're going through cold and flu season right now. And so it's knowledge that is affecting your everyday life. And we talk about things that we can do to learn from that. What should you do to prevent that? And it's always something that's going to be that you can keep learning. Um, I think the hardest part of creating the lesson plan for epidemiology is just making sure it's engaging and practical and a applicable to students lives and just making sure that it is an elective so I really want to make it fun um, and challenging at the same time but trying to just make sure that I really show my passion for that subject to the students so just sometimes making sure it's a variety of things and making sure that it really applies to them. I think I find the most interesting thing about teaching epidemiology is that it's not a well-known science. It's the study of something really cool called diseases. And we study past diseases, how it's impacted the world. We study about how to prevent diseases. And that's just really cool because that's not your typical science class. And so we get to really get into something that is important in our lives and learn about it um, from a different way. This has been Evan Cox with Tribe Broadcasting. While we're on the topic of new teachers and classrooms in the building, we also have a new cafeteria. The cafeteria has new seating, which seems to be quite popular amongst the students. I don't want to spoil it all, so Cooper Smith can show you. Hey, this is Mr. H here. We're excited for the new cafeteria. We think that it's been a really good thing. Um, I appreciate that the students have been so glad to see it and it's been fun to watch people get used to it. It's just like anything else. It takes a little bit to kind of know where to go, but I think it's going really well. We are excited. We've added more graphics and there's more to come. We want it to be an awesome place for students that they can really be proud of, especially when we have outside events, that this is, this is where we eat every day. And really our goal was to make it the commons area. It's another place for students to eat breakfast so that this is a, again, comfortable place that we can be proud of. So hopefully everybody's really liking it. We are on uh, in terms of the staff and, and hopefully the students do as well. My name is Levi Weber. My butt is in pain all the time sitting on metal chairs that are awful. Now we just improved the new cafeteria with new soft, luxurious booths and you can sit in them all 25 minutes of your lunch period. Enjoy. My name is Gage Warlick. I, uh, I really like the new, the new seats. I think they're great. Thumbs up. My name is Abigail Boyer. Compared to last year, I feel like the cafeteria is a lot better. There's more space and seating compared to just the regular tables and chairs. And most of it's very comfortable, like the booths. I feel like um, they're just way more softer than normal chairs are, and it gets me a break from sitting in all the chairs every day. So I feel like it's a good upgrade. 
Name's Koi Stutterheim. I'm honestly a pretty big fan of the new cafeteria. A big complaint I've heard about it is that there's not enough seats. Personally, I think there's enough seats. I usually get to the cafeteria pretty late and I don't have a problem finding a place to sit down. I'd say huge upgrade from our last cafeteria. Hi, my name is Katie Miauk. I think the new lunchroom is actually really cool and an improvement from the last one. And uh, I feel like it's going to be good this year with it. Hi, I'm Brett Luters. The one thing I do like about the new cafeteria is, I'd say, the taller uh, lunch tables and the new seats. Hi, my name is Dan Riergra. And what I really like about the cafeteria now is the booths, you know, just the comfortability, the high top. I mean, just, just like a restaurant, some comfy and cozy. Now isn't that just grand? Brooke, what are you talking about? How about we talk about something more fun and entertaining? Fun? This is cool. There's nothing fun. Sure there is. Try broadcasting, sports. There's plenty of things you can do in your free time to have fun. That's true, but I don't know much about sports. Uh, hey Brooks, can you help us? Good morning everyone, I'm Brooks Bukowski and welcome to Battle Cry on Tribe News, your home for Hayes High Indian sports coverage. Today, we're here to review the starts of the season for several of our awesome Hayes High Indians athletics. Indian football is off to a 2-2 two and two start after two straight losses to Manhattan and Garden City, the latter going into overtime where a chip and goal made all the difference. The Indians will play their homecoming game on September 29th. Hayes High Cross Country has had a productive season thus far, including a team second at Heston, where Elijah McCullough placed first overall. Volleyball is 13-12-1 on their season after a 3-0 night on September 28th. The Lady Indians hope to extend that streak into their next games on October 3rd. Lady Indians tennis has seen strong results this season. At their Cimarron meet, Kinley May and Jaden Fonensteel got third in doubles, Macy Holdeman won second in singles, and Callan Meyer and Elise Zimmerman won first in doubles. This has been Battle Cry with Brooks Pikowski on Tribe News. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Brooks, for your sports update. Many of you have probably seen our new school resource officer in the schools or at our home football games. It's a tie game! Why are we so quiet? Why are we so quiet? He's been a great addition to our school and the kids love him. How about we go to Ethan Dag to learn more about him in an interview. Welcome to Tri Broadcasting. Today we had the opportunity to interview Officer Spencer. So what is kind of your job here at Hayes High? Uh, so I, I still am just a normal police officer as of, I mean, up to just a few days ago I was working on the street as a normal police officer so I still enforce the laws. Um, but then on top of that being here it's um, to keep the students safe, essentially. Um, figure out what threats there might be um, and mitigate those and then just prevent, try to prevent anything severe from happening. Uh, and then just kind of mentor and build relationships with you guys. Um, I'll be in the classroom occasionally. I've already had uh, multiple teachers ask me to teach certain lessons or come in and give talks. So, so I'll be in the classroom as well. So you go to the middle school too, correct? Yep, I'll, I'll be over at the middle school on occasion, um, primarily out here at the high school. This is where my office is, it's the main assignment, but I, it is a part of my assignment to go over there. So I'll work, um, I'll be there whenever they call me or just kind of occasionally pop in and make sure everything's going all right. So um, like when school is not in session, like on the weekends at the summer break and holidays, will you go on, out and be like a regular patrol officer too? Yep, on, on longer breaks and definitely the summer, um, I will be back out on the street just working as a, a regular Hayes police officer. And what is kind of your experience as like in the law enforcement field? Uh, so I have been a police officer for three and a half years now. I'd have three, three years. Um, First two years were out in Lawrence, Kansas, and then last year I moved out here to Hayes, um, and uh, it's been great so far. Uh, do you enjoy the Hayes community so far? Uh, yep, I, I really do. I am very happy to be here, and uh, they've been welcoming, I've had no issues at all, so it's been great.
Where can students find you if they need to talk to you here at Hayes High? Um, so I have an office here. Uh, it is between the main office and the nurse's office. It says school resource officer right on the side. If I'm in my office, I'm typically going to try to have my door open. Um, so if you see me in here and you need something, come in. If you don't need anything, pop in, say hello. Um, really trying to get to know more of you guys. So please don't hesitate to come into the office. Um, like I said, it's there is a door that is right off the main hallway here up by the office. So you guys sh shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult to find. And then other than that, I'm going to be out in the hallways as much as I can down at lunchtime. So just come up, say hello, and try to get to know you guys. Are you going to be at like any outside events at Hayes High? Yeah, so um, that's not necessarily a part of my assignment. Um, but because I do know you guys, I, I want to be there for some. I'm going to take pride in, in the school here, and I, I want to cheer on the school. So, so I'll be at some of them. Um, football games, there's, there's typically two officers at. Um, sometimes it will be me and another officer, or sometimes it will just be re two regular police officers from, from the Hayes Police Department. Um, but I will definitely be at some football, basketball, um, dances, and any other time that they they think they need an officer there, not during regular school hours, I'm going to try to come to as many of them as I can. I just I won't be able to make them all. Officer Spencer has been such a great addition to our school. And hey Cam, I was thinking, we haven't played music this whole time. I feel like we could use some good upbeat music or something. Wait, wait, wait. Did you forget about all the copyright laws? Yeah, I did. Um. Where else can we get music? I know a great place we can get music. Let's go to our club highlight, the Guitar Club. In Guitar Club, you get to learn and play a variety of songs on the guitar. You don't need any knowledge on how to play guitar to join. Guitar Club meets every Monday after school. Experienced guitarists meet every Tuesday after school to jam out. You can join the Canvas page to learn how to play your favorite songs. We hope to see you in Guitar Club this year. Good job to our guitar club. You guys all sound great. I fully agree. Music is the emotional life of most people, said Leonard Cohen. So what's our next story? There's no more news stories. We just had homecoming, so why about we go check out some school spirit? <laughs> 